Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at something that I've overlooked, but apparently the A10C GAL-8 gun dispersal has been changed. So they've tightened up the gun dispersal on the gun. This video from us is going to be actually testing it. That's what we do. We're good at testing things. As to which is more realistic, not the foggiest to be honest. We're going to turn to Stormbirds. Really awesome support us and uh, they're just nice guys. So I uh, implore that you go and use Stormbirds. They do what we do, but just do it better. A sore spot in what is otherwise regarded as DTS world's most complete and best module to date is the gun dispersal of the GAL-8 Avenger cannon, which many felt to be too wide uh, compared to reality. Now we're learning that its accuracy accurate will be getting tighter after some re-evaluations. I think that means accuracy. Co-founder Nick Gray has been much more active on Hoggit recently and been interacting with many members of the community. One of the items alongstanding Grape is that on the dispersion of 30mm cannon employed by the DA-10C. The community has long suggested that the dispersion or the circle that rounds tend to fall within has been too wide. That's been supported by lengthy community posts detailing information that is all available in the public on the aircraft's capabilities far beyond just a complaint that gameplay this has been a very thorough debate that has gone on for years within the community and now has some news uh, this is from nick dear sir i personally followed up this point of dispersion and our engineer made a general mistake pertaining to the gun's installation rigidity so i guess i guess that means how much the gun moves around i don't really know we are correcting this in those airframes concerned in the coming weeks airframes concerned i wonder if there's more airframes then on a more general note, to all we have valuable information to share, please know this. Not all of the information which is written on forums is of world-class nature. <laughs> However, we do try to follow up on most issues, especially when they seem plausible. But the nature of the beast is that some, if not most, of the software engineers are just human and don't like their babies to be criticised. Furthermore, most of them are highly educated and it's not always easy to get them to verify their stuff in great depth. However, rest assured that I have informed every single one of our guys and girls that they should always listen, analyse and verify and if we make some mistakes then take ownership. Thank the uh, source for the insight and move forward safe in the knowledge that we have made a community member happy and pr the programmer better. Thank you all for your continued support and passion. It's going to go on, but I don't think we need to go much further. Regards the Hoggett community, it's not for everyone. But one thing you can say about them is they do know facts. They're very good at facts. And um, they've probably researched this well. Again, not going to go into what is realistic and what's not. We're going to go and test it now. We've got the stable old version installed. And we've got the new open beta that's just come out uh, 1st of April 2020 that apparently has this gun barrel deviation change. And then we'll hand the results over to you. And this took a while to set up. I'm not going to lie, but I think we're there. A10C there we can't do this airborne because we can't make it scientific we can't make it repeatable we can't make it empirical can't risk letting it use do the ai using it because they might not use it the same as a human gotta be human based so if we start the a10c here on the ground and never move it we introduce repeatability we're going to fire the gear out without moving the plane at all so we've got no human error at all we're going to fire it at this firing range here this is set up perfectly to win to within plus or minus one foot so we have an accuracy of plus or minus one foot this is aimed perfectly one two three at that um at that a10 so that there is the line of the barrel okay and we've got these guys markers are in 10 foot intervals at bearing one uh, so uh what's that three zero three three two one three three zero three and whatever the other one is so basically what i'm saying is that's perfectly lined up with the gun we've tested it lots of times we're going to test the deviation of the spread of the shot on stable then the deviation of the spread of the shot in the open beta we can't find any reason why we should have any yaw on this aircraft now it's possible that that gun is slightly mounted to the left of the center line of the plane so it possibly may drift left in terms of yaw now the good thing is it's still repeatable because we're not putting any human uh, effect in this as long as we have the same burst length each time with with each with the plane we should get an empirical yaw if there is a yaw moment in so i'm not touching the plane at all i'm not adding any throttle i'm not doing anything just going wham one so there's no human error going here wrong wrong so i got that got that got that i'm not going to touch the brake in case there's a randomizer effect in there there might be uh i'm going to choose the gun we're going to do a two second burst so it's going to be and one and two and th and one, and two, and stop. Now there is going to be a small randomizer in the actual direct, uh, the actual direction that gun was shooting. But what I'm going to look for is the maximum spread. 
So we're not measuring the direction, we're not measuring the accuracy per se, what we're measuring is the maximum spread. And that can be a little bit difficult because in this case, these bullets are really far away from the tyres. So in this case, we've got a maximum deviation here. If that's 40, uh, 30 feet, then that there is 30 feet plus some. I'm going for, I'm going for 35 feet, 35 feet first test. Next test. If he does it the same every time, it doesn't matter if the pain plane pulls up or not. That's as exactly. long as it does exactly. the same thing every time, the results will be accurate. Second test, same. Track I has gone weird. Doesn't matter. Uh, so it's going to be go and two and stop. Go and two and stop. And the burst length is not actually going to be that important because by the time these bullets here that are hit, impacting down here are the first few actually milliseconds of us firing. Um, okay, we've got a spread of, I think the maximum spread is going to be there. So, stable version. Let me get my little cursor out. That is 25, so it's 1, 10, 12, 30. That's pretty much bang in line with that. 35 feet, exactly the same as it was last time. Now, it's not always going to be that easy, I'm aware, but let's try again. 35 feet spread. Thank you, big cronks. Yes, I do, air. Yes, I do. But like I said, I don't think it's that important because the bullets that are hitting that bit there are actually the first few bullets that come out of the gun. The ones it's bucked up, uh, all those ones go way over the hill. So I'm not even sure it's that important, if I'm honest, guys. Track oil still screwed. Doesn't matter. Um, next, I'm going to go just gun. And it's going to be and two and stop. One and two and stop. Again, the burst length shouldn't be that important because the bullets that we're catching should be right at the beginning of that burst. I'm uh, going to have a different spread this time. There's a lot of randomization in there. A lot of randomization in the code by the looks of it. So, that's going to be a really hard one to judge, that is. So, that's the center line. So, just off there. So, that is 10, 20, 30. We've got this guy here. It's going to be really hard to draw a line through. But if I were to do my best, it's going to be about 5 there. So, I'll be 10, 20, 30, 35, and 2. 37. I'm going as best as I can get that. 37. Uh, one more test, and if it's similar, then we'll move on to the next. Uh, we'll move on to open beta. Uh, I'm resetting this. I'm resetting the whole mission each time, obviously. Uh, right. Fourth test, stable, and go, and do a stop, and off we go. Uh, okay, uh, I'd say that's damn bang on centre line there. So each time the centre line of where we're firing is shifting slightly, and that's because I believe there is a ver there's a randomizer. When you log in, the actual direction you're playing plane is facing is slightly randomized by you know fractions of a fraction of a radian it's so small uh, so that's why we're having to measure the spread like this so center line to there is 10 20 30 5 is about there 37 so you know what that is better than i could ever have dreamed that data uh, that's came out 30 so we've had 35 35 37 37 and there's an accuracy of plus or minus a foot maybe two because you know i'm having to eyeball this at the end of the day so 35 to 37 i don't feel it's so it's so equal each time i don't feel the need to keep doing more and more repeats it, it looks like it's going to be very equal each time so let's go and repeat the thing same mission same everything on open beta standby i don't think we need to go in that detail there Moss. i think I think it should be obvious, because if we go in now and find that instead of 35 feet spread, we've got 18, it should be obvious. Would it change the length of the burst? Would it change the dispersion? No, it wouldn't, because like I keep saying, the few bullets that we're counting are the beginning of the burst. Right. All of the other ones go above the hill. So we could do a 10 second burst, the results would be identical, because we're only catching the first few bullets of that burst. Okay, welcome back value viewers. Exactly the same. Everything's identical identically placed to the nearest foot in open beta. Just gonna try it out. Yeah, because recoil lift, lifts the nose of the plane, that's right. So the, the bullets later in the burst go way off into the, you can see them exploding. You might be able to, might be able, might not be able to see it on the low quality stream, but on my screen I can see them exploding in the background about a second later. So the ones that go in the later on in the burst are going miles ahead 
Uh, sorry, yeah, miles ahead. You watch, it won't, they've changed it so it can't fire on the ground now or something. That would just literally make me have a spasm. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Those loading times, though, look, it's super, It's uh, completely see-through. Uh, now, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can watch the gun firing. At least you can watch the gun firing, uh, I'll see. On, on, on. Sorry, I was doing two seconds. So it'll be two, and two, and two. And, uh, uh, bup. Look, I can actually catch these bullets up so very quick enough. Look at the bullets exploding in the background. They see them still exploding, still exploding, still exploding there. So the end of the burst are actually exploding over there. You might even be able to see them if I zoom in enough. And I can't. You'll just have to take my word for it. We mm. saw. Okay, it looks good. It looks good, guys. Experiment has a wackered. It's tighter! Nick Gray was right, it's tighter! Something we did worked! Look how tight that oh, yeah. shiz is! Okay, stuff to, interesting, it's off the, offset to the right a little more than the uh, non beta version was, and again, there are random, uh, AD put randomizers everywhere in their code just to simulate, you know, um, um, you know, real life, everything's, nothing's ever perfectly the same, you know, unless you go into a subatomic, well, even a subatomic level, actually, yeah, nothing's yeah. the same, due to probability yeah. of subatomic particles, but, uh, and they're kind of simulating the fact that, anyway, um, so, spread, I diverge. I'd say that is just slightly right of him. So I'd say we've got, give or take, I'd say we've got just under 20 feet there. I'm going to go for 19 feet there. What did I say? I told you they would half it. I told you Dimitri would have halved it perfectly. I bet they've done that. Super cap, saving the world, one video at a time. Did I say 19? So yeah. a few more tests to make sure. I've got three more tests to make sure. And then send it off to ED. Boom. Massive paycheck. That's a complete lie, by the way. But one day, one day, I'll see. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's concentrate. Keep this empirical. Up. So I'm going to go and and two and bah! Catch the bullets up. Ah! See them exploding? There they are. They're exploding here. But it's two miles down range. Nice gun. Nice gun, RC. It's done it again. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, RC. Look at him and him. Are oh, just within 20. I'd say that's 19 feet. Perfect. Oh, which is exactly what we got. Oh. Oh, I want to put my hand down my pants. It's such good data. <laughs> you one cannot thing, do that. One thing that really turns me on in life is good DCS testing data. I'm all over that shit. Right, let's go again. Back. That's like the magic bullet theory of JF 9-11. Not 9-11, what's the other one? JFK. Did you see that film, Marcy? Did you say JF 9-11? One. Up. Haha, <laughs> look. That there, this streak here was actually on its way back down. You can see it's yawing to the right. Uh, right, let's see again. Uh, right, so ignore the V streaks here. That's it, because uh, I did a big too long burst and it came back down and started streaking down here. This burst here is what we're interested in. Uh, 20 feet there, possibly a wiggle over 20 feet. So that there in line, pretty much that there. I'm gonna go for 21 feet there. I really, because of the aspect, I really don't know, but I'm gonna be as honest as I can. It's because, guys, if you wanted to know why that thing here, it's because they've changed on open beta. The amount of uh, the way the the front of the gun goes up and then down is quicker for some reason. The recoil is different, and so it comes down quicker. And it's catching those other set of bullets on the way down, uh, which is a bit weird. But yeah, you can see the cockpit swore to the right, and that's the difference between stable and open beta, which is actually quite interesting. Um, okay, three, two, one, bap. Ah, too far. No cap, stop it, you idiot. Exactly the same thing. Nice and tight. Lovely. So there we've got, as near as damn it, I'd say 18 feet. So, the final data in. A completely fair, cool test that just worked. They rarely work like that, but in this case it did. Sorry, what did I say? Did I say 18 feet? 18 feet. We've got an average of um, the uh, uh, stable version, 2.5.5, of 
36 feet deviation at whatever range this is, it doesn't matter. And on the new gun, on the open beta 2.5.6 point, whatever the latest one is, we've got an average of 1919 21, 18 of between friends 19.25 or something like that and again as near as friends pretty much half pretty much half is what it is so Nick Ray was telling the absolute truth his buddy did go and reduce the spread uh, this is lateral we're testing here we're not testing longitudinal I can't think of a way of testing longitudinal before someone says shoot against a uh, vertical face no it doesn't work um, go and try it yourself and you'll see what happens a chuff with that well done everyone Stormbirds for bring it to our attention I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you later